Hi guys and welcome back to English 5. We are still working on culture and traditions in English speaking countries. And in the last two videos, I just talked about the tradition and culture in America and Australia. But today I'm going to talk about the British traditions and culture. So culture, traditions, English 5, British traditions and culture. Okay? And a good way to understand a country is to look at the traditions and holidays celebrated. So let's start there. There are actually many holidays that British people celebrate, but I have just choose a few to focus on them. So we have uh, St. Patrick's Day, we have Hogmanay, we have Burns Night, we have May Day, we have Wimbledon Tennis Tournament, we have Harvest Festival, and we have Bonfire Night. Celebrations and traditions in the UK. Countless celebrations take place annually in the United Kingdom, ranging from royal to religious and traditional to modern. This great country has been around for almost 1000 years and has been influenced by many other cultures that existed before its formation. And over the course of its long history, a diverse array of rich and vibrant spatial occasions have developed in the UK, many of which are still enjoyed by modern day residents each year. And I will present some of the UK's most widely celebrated holidays, festivals and special occasions, but there are many, many more. Okay, guys? So, first of all, St. Patrick's Day, March 17. While most of the UK doesn't celebrate St. Patrick's Day, though there is a parade and festival in London, it's a very important religious holiday in Northern Ireland that commemorates the life and death of St. Patrick, a celebrated missionary and the patron saint of Ireland. Go on to Hogmanay, December 31st, January 2nd. In Scotland, the New Year celebrations is referred to as Hogmanay, and it can last through January 2nd, which is considered a bank holiday, and in some parts of England and in Scotland, it's considered good luck if the first person to enter one's home on New Year's Day is a man. While it's considered bad luck if a woman is the first to enter, in a tradition known as first footing, a male friend enters a friend's home and usually gives a small ceremonial gift. Now go on to Burns Night, uh, January 25th. Burns Night is celebrated in honor of the Scottish poet Robert Burns, 1759 to 1796. He is best known for writing the song Old Lang Syne, which is uh, traditionally sung at the stroke of midnight when New Year's Eve 
becomes New Year's Day. Many schools celebrate Burns Night by eating haggis, a savory pudding made from sheep pack and other ingredients, and reading the poet's works aloud with company. Now go on to May Day, May 1st. May Day is a traditional celebration of spring and fertility. Uh, it's observed with outdoor picnics and the decoration of maples with ribbons and flowers. Go on to Wimbledon Tennis Tournament, June and July. The Wimbledon Tennis Tournament often referred to simply as Wimbledon, which is the oldest tennis championship in the world and is considered by many to be the most prestigious. Uh, it typically begins on the last Monday in June and lasts for over two weeks. Okay. Now go on to a harvest festival uh, on or near the Sunday of the harvest moon. Like many other places in the world, the UK observes harvest festivals to celebrate the growth of crops on the land. The festival is also about giving thanks for all the good and positive things in people's lives, such as family and friendships. Go on to a bonfire night, the 5th of November. Bonfire night is an annual celebration of the failure of the gunpowder plot, an attempt to blow up the House of Parliament in 1605. Fireworks are lit at night and many families also create effigies of guy folks and burn them in bonfires either in their own backyards or with other members of the community. Since the day is so close to Halloween, many combine the two holidays. Some even wear guy folks masks as Halloween costumes. So that was all for today. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next video. Bye.